CrowdStrike says it isn't to blame for Delta's flight cancellations after July outage. I mean, that's fair. That's a much different take than CrowdStrike to Delta. Stop pointing the finger at us. This is so much more sensational than this one. Like, that is so much more sensational. CrowdStrike on Sunday said Delta Airlines had rejected on-site help during last month's mass- massive outage that sparked thousands of flight cancellations. Delta CEO Ed Bastian uh, told CNBC Squawk Box last week that the mass cancellations followed the outage, which occurred at one of the busiest times of the year, cost the company about $500 million, including uh, customer compensation. The airline had no choice but to seek damages, he said. Bastian told staff on Friday that the airline had been formed CrowdStrike and Microsoft that the company was planning to pursue legal claims to recover its losses stemming from the outage and that it hired a, a law, Boyce Schiller Flexner. What a, what a name. My name is Boy is Boise, Boys, 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 Boys. Where's my, where's my boys at? Um. Uh, in response, uh, Michael uh, Karlinski, CrowdStrike's lawyer and co-managing partner at Quinn Emanuel, Urquhart, Ur- and Sullivan, wrote to Delta's lawyers, Dave, can we just, yo, can you guys just get, can you guys just have your name? Can you just say Mr., like, Quinn or Urquhart? Do you guys really have to go with, like, the full, full-ass name? Yo, at Quinn Emanuel, Urquhart, and Sullivan. Just like, yo, just give me a name. Can you just say the lawyer? Wrote to Delta's uh, lawyers, uh, David uh, Boyce. Where's my boys at on Sunday? That Delta's litigation threats contribute to misleading narrative that CrowdStrike is responsible for Delta's IT decisions in response to the outage. Okay, can I be fair here? If our entire world exploded and I had all of the understanding to get something back online. We knew we had to restart some servers. We knew we had to be manual about things. We knew we had to go to safe mode. We knew we had to do all of that. And this was from the company that did it to us. And they're like, hey, can you just stop the process and let us come in and help you? Like I'd say, you know, I would cleanly say in a very nice and polite and civil terms for them to fuck off because it's like, why would I want you near this? Why would you want me? Why would I want to slow down hear your side of things, wait for eight hours for you to actually get to our place. Why would I wait for any of that when I could just safe mode launch and go right into it, right? It is crazy to think that they would wait for it anyways. The mystical colonel protecting company wants uh, in your colonel. Politely fuck off CrowdStrike. I know. Like, come on. Like, you cannot tell me you would want that because you know it would take them for like it would be so much crap because you'd because you know these companies like Delta and you know CrowdStrike's the same way. It's gonna be like VP talks to VP that sends them to directors. Two directors talk to two directors. They argue over who's gonna do what. Those directors send it to senior managers. Senior managers then go to managers. Managers then go to staff engineers. Staff engineers then go to the intern to restart the machine. It's gonna be like let's add an entire bureaucracy chain just to turn on and off a machine again. Fixed. 2030. Let's go. <laughs> Shit falls top to bottom. It does. Uh, CrowdStrike shares have lost more than 36% of their value since the outage, affecting millions of computers running the company's software atop Microsoft Windows operating system. The outage hit industries from banking to healthcare to air travel. By the way, they did the same thing to Linux just in April. They did the same thing to other, uh, I think, Linux or other computers again just last year. They are, they are, I don't know how anybody would ever choose CrowdStrike. Honestly, with their history of borking computers and then telling you that they're making you safe. Like, I, I don't know how anyone chooses them or saves them. Should Delta pursue this path, Delta will have to explain to the public, its shareholders, and ultimately a jury why CrowdStrike took responsibility for its actions swiftly, transparently, and constructively, while Delta did not. Okay, can I play a little bit? Can I play a, just a tiny bit of devil's advocate here? Yo, I hate airline companies, okay? You know what? I hope CrowdStrike... And Delta Burn, okay? You know what? I hate them both. I think airlines suck, okay? That's the truth of the statement. You guys have made, you just jam me in there like a hamster in a five foot 11 seat with a six foot person. I'm just like cramped in there and I just can't fucking take it. Like you could even see the windows were meant to have a seat per window and the windows are wider than the seat spacing. It's like for every three windows, there's four seats. You can tell that they've overfilled. the. Th- oh, my goodness. My voice is cracking. They've overfilled it. Oh, my. My goodness. Okay, so it's like, do I have much uh, sympathy for Delta? No, I don't. But I do think it's significantly worse that CrowdStrike screwed everybody. Okay? Yeah, then fly private. <laughs> 
Can there just be like something I have to pay an extra hundred dollars for a ticket for, but it isn't just horrible? I try to do that, but instead you end up paying like four hundred dollars a ticket for extra leg room in which often isn't extra leg room. I don't know if you've re- I don't know if you read some of the finer details. Some of those aren't extra leg room at all. Economy Plus. The thing is, is that Economy Plus doesn't actually exist in all airplanes, and they will actually charge you for Economy Plus when you do this, and you actually just get preferred seating, which means you're closer to the front, and that's it. I don't know if you know this. Guess who? Guess who just got hit with that one? Yeah, I know. First class is great. The problem is, it's 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 so much. You misread. It's extra. It's extra legume. You get more peanuts. <laughs> oh, trains forever. Trains forever. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. In the wake. Okay, I, I I hear you. Okay. In the wake of the widespread outage caused by the defective updated Crowd CrowdStrike's Falcon security platform, Delta Airline is among the first enterprises to come forward to demand compensation from CrowdStrike and Microsoft for the enormous. By the way, the Microsoft play. Stupid of them. I don't know why they're throwing Microsoft in this deal. They should not throw Microsoft in this deal for the enormous losses caused by the interruption of its flight uh, uh, of its flights during failure. Delta, which uh, was the airline. Most impacted by the outage estimates the damage of this. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Delta CEO Ed Bashan told NBC that the airline canceled over 5,000 flights due to the outage, adding to the company's IT organization. They had to manually reset 40,000 servers. Dude, and it's not like you just have to power it on and off. You have to go into safe mode. You have to do something with the CrowdStrike folder, and then you have to re-get the CrowdStrike on there. That's the newer version, and then you get to restart. Okay, this wasn't a like a on and off again situation. Okay, this is not a simple thing. All right, she's right behind me. Yeah! All right. Uh, I hope that Dar- uh, rethinks Microsoft and the wake. I mean, uh, good. Let's go. Let's go. More more, more Linux. You know that Linux is like free, right? You know that, right? It's like for free. It's like, it's just like right there, right? No? No? What did Pick have to say? Just got here. What's happened to my CrowdStrike stonks? Am I going to the moon? You are going to the moon, my friend. Um, I still think this is, I think that this might, this might be the most ballsy thing I've ever seen. A company to disable the entire world. And the action was to manually reset all their uh, all of the computers. Made and by the way, when we say reset, remember it is not just simply on and off. It is boot up in safe mode. Do something to the CrowdStrike to update it to the newer version and or to delete it and run without it. Okay. And they had to do that to forty thousand computers. And to say that Delta was not swift, no shit, they weren't swift. Do you realize how long that would take? It would take a massive amount of time. It would be incredible how much time would have to be spent doing this on a per computer basis. Boot in safe mode and delete one file. That's not a short period of time. That's a long period of time. Time end people, right? Because if if you could reboot one, like let's just say that it takes you two minutes, okay? Let's say it takes you 2.1 minutes to do that. I wonder how many people worked on this. You know so many people worked on it. You know it's crazy. Just 2.1 minutes to do this per computer. That would take a total of 60,000 man days to restart all of them. Or it's not 60,000. Sorry, 60 man days. Did I say 60,000? 60 man days. Right? And so that's assuming because that's because at 40,000, if you times that by 2.1, you approximately get the amount of uh, seconds in a day. So then you just times that by 60, so you get the amount of that so that's 60 days so instead of one day it's 60 days that's how i did that quick math quick math uh, uh so that'd be 60 man days that's a lot and so if it took longer if it took four minutes remember if it took four minutes now you're into 120 man days like, that's wild that's so much like just time in the saddle and that's assuming they're working every second of every day with absolutely no downtime between physical computers. Chat is wild, by the way. I'm not even reading you. Chat, you guys are a bunch of psychopaths. I want you to know that. Okay. You guys are all, you guys are all, what about dev days? What about machine learning days? Shut up. Hey, Marcus, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> that's it. You guys are now officially into emote mode. Okay. You deserve this. Took care of it. All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, the name is I, I do this CrowdStrike slowly developing into just this horrible 
story unraveling itself has been so entertaining.